Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Carrie at Carrie to the World and I am uh, filming today my fitness video for 2016, or the first one. Um, I did one before but uh, my hard drive stopped working so all the work videos that I put on the hard drive uh, for my camera um, has gone and lost forever so I've had to redo some of the videos. So um, if you watched videos before um, or if you haven't, um, I um, do regular events each year, um, running and walking, raising money for charity. Last year I did the London 10k and then I also did the, the half World Park ma Marathon last year. And this year I'm, I haven't got to do a run yet um, <clears throat> and I'm, and I'm going to see if I can still. But because I've got so many weekends and I I work weekends as well, uh, so I can't have like, every weekend off. Um, it's tricky trying to work it work work it out so I can do a run this year. But I have already um, booked to do the twenty five kilometre uh, Thames Park Thames Valley Path walk uh, from uh, Putney to Hampton Court, uh, which is happening uh, this year in September. I'm raising money for Help the Heroes, and I'm doing that with my mum, who's going to be right, um, walking for cancer research. And my aim this year, um, because I, I already plan to do that walk, I plan to do that beginning of the year. Um, no, I, well, actually, I, I, I um, entered to do that before Christmas. Because I know it's so popular and places can go very quickly. So uh, and there's different ones you could do of the Thames Valley Path Walk, and I'll link that below so you can more about it. And uh, my aim was to do 120 kilometres by the time I did that walking event, and already just by um, calculating the walking I've done to and from work, I've already beat that goal just by counting or walking. Uh, and I know that's not including the walking I did the last couple of weeks, the like holiday, so I haven't included that in yet. I've done about 300 kilometres so far, but I've, I've probably done more through the uh, walking up London that I haven't uh, included, um, and walking I um, walk most days, so because um, it's quite a distance from from where I live into town, so. And that adds to it as well. Um, I do. I am still doing my running. Um, I've been into running um, outside for a um, good ten years now, and I mix up with some working out and do some running on my treadmill, which I've got, which someone gave to us. Oh, one of our lovely neighbours gave to us, which I use. Plan to use it this week. I also do uh, workouts to. Um, some of the work at self saved from the Fitness and Beauty channel, which is on this, which is a Sky channel, which has various workouts. And what I do, I, I save them in my planner and then I press the blue button to keep them. So, and I did my LA Blast one this, this morning, so I didn't have to do any running. And that's the thing, is there a time where you are doing exercise but you're getting bored of saying exercise and it is good to mix it up? And I do that all the time, mix it up because I know that I'll get bored. Uh, even if it's for seven minutes, there is a really good uh, seven minute app. If you go to the Play Store um, and look seven minute workout, there, there's the seven minute workout app that gives you various exercises to do within seven minutes and that's really good if you are short for time. And that's the thing with exercise, it's not about um, working around exercise, if in, working around exercise each day. Uh, making sure you get it done is working exercise around you and your lifestyle and there is different things you can do that for example uh, whenever I plan some days if I haven't gone out in, in the morning but me and my husband plan to go into town then what I will do I will run on and then I'll go for a run and then I'll meet them in town so I kind of divert but we still meet in town but then I still get in my run and what we did uh, when Elf was off um, on off for a couple of days because um, <clears throat> his phone were coming down I uh, we went for a walk in the common and I ran on so they followed me but I did my running, my say walked behind me so a bit of fresh air and a bit of a 
ran around in the common as well, uh, near where we live. And so there's different things you can do to, to mix in your lifestyle, but you don't have to change your whole lifestyle because of exercise. Work it around your current lifestyle. It, and it's it, it's about making small changes. It's not about quick fixes. It's not about changing your whole routine. It's about fit, fitting it in and just making smaller steps to to have a and it's more and it's um you should be concentrating on being healthy rather than being a certain size. Um, I mean, being someone who's had an eating disorder and have always been body conscious, not always liked myself. Um, you know, it's taken a long time for me to educate myself, you know, to feel better myself. And the one thing that's helped me is exercise. You know, I find a walking to be like therapy to me. That's why I love a walking to work and home from work each weekend. Because it's just my time. I, it helps to clear my mind. Um, and sometimes I will walk through muddy, my really muddy parts. And some people may ask why. Because it teaches you about life. If you um, because as I was doing the first time I did that, I thought, oh, how am I gonna get through this? But I did. I got through it. And even though it was slippery, I made sure that I took my time and I steadied myself so I didn't slip. And in the end, I actually found that it was actually a quicker route to go than the second time I did it. The first time I didn't, I went a long way around, but it didn't matter because. That's why walking is so good because it's my, it kind of sim, symbolises life. That there's there'll be so many paths that you'll turn, so many slippery slopes that you'll walk. But if you know and you're determined to get to where you want to be, then you will be there. Um, it's just it's all about taking slow and steady, smaller steps and focusing on the on the the moment, on the present as well as the future. Forgetting about the past, you know and um, the other thing that's helped me is being mindful and walking has helped me to do that and exercise helped me to do that because it just helps me focus on that one thing and not trying to do 25 things at once so and um, so far my fitness has gone really well um, I've kept up with it and uh, there's been times when my energy levels have um, stooped to low and I'm working on that um, to try and alter my diet because my diet hasn't been superb I don't know why, but I've become addicted to chocolate. <laughs> I never used to be. I never used to be. Re I mean, I used to take. I used to get food chocolate bar. That's why I never used to eat them because, to me, that was like eating a meal. Um, but now I have to have a bit of chocolate a day, and I crave it. Like yesterday, I was like, "Oh, I need some chocolate." So I ripped up some dark chocolate I had, and I had to have a couple of <laughs> block, a couple of you nice know, small like pieces um in order to get rid of the craving so and sugar i think it does play a massive part in in your diet because it is very addictive and i'm trying my hardest to set a good example for my son um because they do pick up on what you're eating and and Im try and imitate what you're doing so it's very important to me to have a a healthy diet and to give Henry a healthy diet, my son Henry, a healthy diet because you know I don't want him to have uh, health implications later on in life. I want him to thrive, you know, and you know I want him to look after myself so I can enjoy uh, and there's, and do the things that I still want to do. But you can't do that if you're, you know, if your health is, um, you know, if you if you've got bad health and you've you know diabetes and all that, you know it's it is a lot. It's it's avoidable if you take precautions. I know you can never stop yourself from being ill on occasions, but it is all about taking precautions and being healthy rather than being a certain size. And that's why I exercise, and and um, that's why I'm at at the moment. I'm at a good stage, but I don't think uh, I'm not exercising to try and say, oh, I mean, I have found that my I my weight has been a bit up and down but I've not really put on too much weight like I did when I was on the pill and that really did bother me and that's when I knew that I had to make changes um, to the way I felt because I couldn't go on looking in the mirror and, and, and wanting to cry because I didn't like the way I looked so 
I'm at a stage now where I'm I, I still have days where I don't feel so good, but I have more better days than bad days, and that exercise has really helped me in that. So, so um. And one thing I have started to use is the uh, these ankle um, and wrist weights, which are really good. Um, and I use them to do LA Blast. They were from TK Maxx, and um, they're really good for working out. If you don't want to set dumbbells, these are really good. And you can just put them around your wrist and um, do your housework, for example, or just walk around with them around your ankles. Um, if you do want to do sort of like work you know working out in terms of like doing a, a, a fitness regime just walk around with these on your around your ankle they're really uh, versatile and i use them to do floor work if i don't fancy do dumbbells and i use these um and they're new for this year i haven't bought a work, new workout dvd yet um <clears throat> more because i've been focused on spending money and other things but i would I like to eventually get some more uh workout dvd just to try other ones um, and this is my workout um, diary and um, and uh, so this schedule my workouts and I've been using sort of um, all my spare sort of paper paper that I have a of facts rather than buying inserts I sort of made my own so that's what I've been doing and uh, that's why I log my walking and at the front, that's where I log my runs. Um, so, yeah, that's my fitness for this year so far. And I'll keep you posted and I'll let you know once I've set up my fundraising page. Um, if you'd like to sponsor me and donate towards my 25 kilometre walk that I'm doing in September. But until then, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Oh, and remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more. And remember to give the video a thumbs up if you like this video. So, anyway, take care. See you soon. Bye.